Yeah, it is more impressive it cuts through, but you know, yeah, actually, can you believe it? It actually cut through the towel. I should take a photo and make a video out of this. The very basic rule when you try to modify the knife from traditional, more conventional double bevel to single bevel, or to be precise, almost single, extreme asymmetrical bevel, number one, don't pick up the knife with laminated construction. You are only going to lose the cutting performance if you modify thin blade stock laminated construction knife into a symmetrical bevel. Even monosteel construction santoku, they are too thin and you are not going to gain any cutting performance. You have to pick up something relatively thick blade stock. For example, this has been modified by me. You can clearly see. And okay, let's check out this edge. This has been used extensively and not yet sharpened. So I don't know how this is performed, but so if there is any interest about how to modify the bevel, I will make another video. No, even just one person seriously wants to know, just write in the comment section. I will try to make a video. So the back bevel is almost gone. When you do this kind of project, modifying double beveled knife into single beveled, you have to know certain things. The number one is something like this. Thin blade stock, laminated construction, you cannot do it. So when you modify to single beveled, when the blade stock is thick enough and it is a monosteel construction, then yes, it can work. But again, you will lose toughness, durability of the edge although you increase cutting performance almost double. It's like modifying a motorcycle engine. The more power you squeeze out, the shorter the lifetime span is.
400 done, switching to 1200. GoPro battery died. The most important thing when you do this kind of project is you can never make this side totally flat so that when you put the knife like this on the stone, everything touches on the stone. No, it doesn't happen. You have to treat this side as big, big radius convex. So you can't sharpen all of the back side like this. That's why I am working section by section. Right now, I am working on the edge. And right now, I am working on behind the edge. You cannot tell these things by watching the video. I'm afraid. You have to do it by yourself. Things like this you cannot learn online, cannot learn by watching YouTube video. And you have to learn how to do things by feeling. Anybody who tells you to stack coins behind the edge on the spine or mark on the sun so that you can maintain the same braid to stone angle, they don't know a thing, you know. If they are talking it seriously, they are an idiot. Most likely they are doing it just for view count. If they are talking like me, they are not going to grow their channel, meaning they are not going to make money. So in order to make money, in order to gain view count, more likes, more subscribers, they kind of have to lie to you, telling you as if it's an easy thing. No, this is not an easy thing to do. Okay, 1200 done. It doesn't slip on Sharpie. As I always say, pretty much the only edge test, you know, you need is a uh, Marie Carter's three finger test.
This is enough. And I guess that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.